Hey, it's Matt from Black Coal Woodworking. Welcome back. Today I'm making a salt bowl with a lid that rotates open. What I've got here is a blank of walnut that I'm making round attached to the lathe using a screw chuck. The top of this box will be maple. After making it round and flattening out the bottom, I use my calipers to mark out where my jaws will go and then use a parting tool to cut a recess so that I can fit my jaws in there. After I've got the outline of the recess with the parting tool, I switch to a spindle gouge to hollow out the rest of that little shallow spot. I also make sure to inset that little spindle gouge into the corner so that I get a good uh, taper for the dovetail of the jaws. And then I start to shape the outside of the box. And it's going to be a very simple shape. I'm just tapering the bottom part of the box and I'll do the same thing on the top of it. Of course I skip through the sanding, you get to see the finish. I'm using a walnut oil and beeswax finish. I flipped the piece around now and mounted it on the four jaw chuck. I'm marking out how thick I want the side walls of this bowl because I need to put a hole there so that I can put a dowel in it to allow my lid to turn. The hollowing out process is done with my half inch bowl gouge. For the bottom of the bowl, I use a round nose scraper to make it nice and flat and smooth. The finish on the inside is the same as the outside, walnut oil and beeswax. This is the piece of maple I'm making a lid out of. Normally I wouldn't like to cut round pieces on the bandsaw like this, but it was small enough and you can't see it from this angle, but my fingers are absolutely nowhere near the blade and there was very little risk of injury, so I went for it. I'm marking out how big the bowl is on the lid to see if it will fit. I had to move the lid over slightly to fit better. I left the top of the lid slightly oversized so that by the time I'm done sanding, It'll be the same size as the bottom.
I got a little carried away and realized I forgot to mark the thickness of this side wall as well. So I did the same thing by lining up the drill bit and uh, just marking it with a pencil. I'm hollowing out the inside here and I'm going to end up flipping it around and putting it on the four jaw chuck as well to do the outside. Normally I wear a glove to do this, but I'm not, and if you take a look you can see steam coming off that wood. It's actually really, really hot. Coming up here you'll see, like I just moved my hand out of the way, you'll see that I jump because it's actually burning. The top of the lid gets the same taper as the bottom of the box. The lid gets the same walnut oil and beeswax finish as the rest of the box.
This is a piece of 2x4 that I'm using to make a dowel out of. The tail end of my dowel was just not quite small enough so I had to use a pocket knife to trim it up a little. I realized that my lid was too heavy. When I had the box open it would tip over because of that extra weight. So I took some more out of the lid, make it a little bit thinner, a little less weight. What else do you do in Canada when you run out of painter's tape or duct tape? You go with hockey tape. Don't do it though. Thanks for watching. If I've earned it, please consider subscribing and giving me a thumbs up. Shoot me a comment or ask a question. Thanks again and I'll catch you guys next time.